Yes, God did say this, and it is very important. But, you know, here over some good coffee, can we possibly find the reason for this? Can we delve just a little deeper, maybe? Hello, welcome to the Simple Not Shallow podcast. My name is Charles, and this is the Coffee Side Chat series, so named because of this amazing cup of coffee sitting on the counter right beside me. And we are coming to you from the very hallowed halls of my kitchen university. Ah, the kitchen counter. It's the perfect place, don't you think, to stand, talk, laugh, and learn together while sipping on a very beautiful cup of coffee. Hmm. I hope you have one available to you as we talk about things. So, let me ask you a question. Why do you think forgiving others is so important to our faith? Well, let's kick this one around. While looking at it now through the lens of what it means to be a Christian, and, you know, see what we come up with. Now, remember, this lens is a following of Jesus that does involve a relationship leading to studentship, leading to a life lived from everything learned. Not one, not the other, not in isolation, but all at once, all together, in balance, intrinsically linked. So, forgiving others. Why is that so important? Well, you know, I... Don't know about you, but I hear two very common answers all the time. Well, the first one runs something like this. Well, we forgive others for our own sanity and well-being. I mean, it's just healthier to forgive and to let go. We feel so much better. There's less stress, lower blood pressure. We just need to forgive. And, 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 and yes, it is healthier to forgive. But, I mean, if that's the only reason you're forgiving somebody, well, I mean, looking at it through the lens of a relationship with Jesus, it does seem to be a bit one-sided, does it not? To be a bit selfish and self-centered, for you're only doing it for your sake, not for the other person. And, as we have seen in other episodes, that is always something less than relational. Something less than loving, is it not? I mean, as a benefit? Well, it's beautiful. As a motivation? Yeah, no, not so much. Not real great. Now, moving on then to the second most common answer I hear. And that is, well, because God said to. And, 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 and yes, he did. In fact, in the Lord's Prayer, you know, where Jesus gives us a pattern of prayer, he supports this. I mean, he directly ties God forgiving our sins to our forgiving other people. I mean, he assumes that they're intrinsically linked together. And in only two short verses later, he goes even further. And he says that if we do not forgive others, he does not forgive us. I know. So, yes, God did say this. And it is very important. But, you know, here over some good coffee, can we possibly find the reason for this? Can we delve just a little deeper, maybe? Now, here's an interesting thought for your consideration. Do you remember about um, two episodes ago, I think, when we talked about what the two greatest commands are? And, you know, we learned that these two commands are to love. 
you know, God first with our entire being and our neighbor as ourself. And we saw that these were so big, so important, that Jesus even pointed out that, you know, every other command ever given is based on these two. Well, this command to forgive, then, must also be based on these commands to love. Now, what difference does that make? Well, forgiveness now becomes a matter of loving our neighbor as we love ourselves. And if we do not forgive, well, we are not loving our neighbor. And do you also remember that passage in 1 John that we talked about, which said that if we do not love our neighbor, we do not even know God? Could that be the reason that we are not forgiven if we do not forgive? Well, because choosing to not forgive is the choosing to not love. And, you know, in previous episodes, we have seen that from a Christian point of view now, choosing not to love severely interrupts our relationship with God. Well, because it it involves our turning our backs to him to pursue our own interests. And honestly, how can we experience forgiveness when our backs are turned to the very one who is offering it? Oh, And let's delve even a little deeper, shall we? In the same episode that we were just referring to, it was also mentioned that anything not done from love is a sin. And that is what separates us from God. Now, since the choice to not forgive is a choice to not love, then this too is a sin. Isn't that profound? The choice to not forgive another person actually separates us from God. No wonder we can't experience forgiveness if we do not forgive. And you may find this interesting. I also found passages in the Bible, you know, in both Old and New Testaments, to talk about how love and forgiveness actually work together. They tell us that love forgives, or, you know, as it is sometimes said in the Bible, covers over sin. And I found one that tells us that forgiveness actually promotes love. Now, I'll I'll list all those scriptures and every scripture that I have referenced and am referencing in the description area so that you can check them all out for yourself. Now, yes, love and forgiveness are two very different things. But it's important to know that they do work together. They go hand in hand. If you love, you forgive. If you forgive, you love. Well, what do you know? There you go. There you have it, and there it is, the answer to our question as to why it is so important to forgive. Now, as always, please uh, remember that this has been a very brief chat. Much, much, much more can be said than I can cover here in this short episode. But even with that in mind, please let me know what you think. Do you agree with what I've said? Do you disagree? Do you have another insight? And please, do me the honor of telling me why you think as you do. For that is the way conversations begin, and I'd love to converse with you. Well, now, in addition to the passages I referenced, and I almost forgot to mention this, but I am going to leave two additional resources linked up in the description area, ones that I absolutely love. It's a resource. Um, The first resource is going to be my favorite YouTube apologist, Mr. Mike Winger. And the second uh, resource I'm linking is to, linking you to, linking to for you, is my favorite YouTube pastor, theologian person, Mr. Alistair Begg. 
Now, I am 99.99999999% sure that these gentlemen have never heard of me. But I have heard of them, and I have learned so much from listening to them and what they say in their videos. Check them out. I think you'll enjoy them and may find them as beneficial as I do. And you're welcome. Well, until next time then, may you love fully and truly forgive. And, well, may you take it easy, take it slow, and may coffee into your cup always flow.